sideline to sideline. Leave no cracks, and here's the kick. It's a hooker going down toward the corner, and it's taken two yards deep in the end zone by Stickers. He's to the 20, across the 20, 25, 27-yard line. Wearing the home black is Coy Detmer. You see the amount of yards that he has accumulated as a result of his passing. Herschel Troutman is the tailback, 190-pound junior from Naples, Florida. And Detmer keeps the ball on a rollout. Throws, and he's got a man wide open. It is Phil Savoy, Jr., from Washington, D.C. And here's Chile's backs and receivers, the starters for Colorado. Ray Carruth, number 21, is the speed burner, but Savoy is becoming a primary target. James Kidd, also a wideout and very fast. From the 48-yard line, first down, Buffaloes, they run it. Is finally taken down. The offensive front had some severe losses through graduation. Chris Nioli is the bell cow of that bunch. The big guy, number 53, there at center, is also terribly important to them. So it'll be second down and about seven. Boy Detmer whips it, intercepted, dropped. Charles Woodson had it. They're going to give him the interception. He dropped the ball, and Taylor covered it. Five-step drop. It's a slant pattern. He throws it in front of him. Savoy had stopped, and then he moved to try and get it. That's the first interception. He's got Dreisbach. His yardage numbers are relatively small in his five-game, five-and-oh record, though, as a starter. Charles Woodson is on the field, shifting now out of the tailback position and going to a wideout. And he's over here against Marcus Washington. And Dreisbach looks and lets it go, trying to throw the ball for Woodson. And the pass is long and out of bounds and complete. The backs and receivers, Chile starting lineup for Michigan. Ty Streets and Charles Woodson figure to be the people that have to make some big, long plays. Now, Stan... Uh, uh, Stan Parrish. Parrish told us last night that they've been working on some 20 to 30 yard patterns. They need some stuff down the field. They need to stretch Colorado vertically because it's a very aggressive defense. This is Clarence Williams carrying. Rod Payne is the center. He anchors the offensive front for Michigan, and it's a good offensive line, and it needs to be. It's third down and three. The ball is at the 42 yard line, and Williams is the single back. Four man front for Colorado. Give it to Williams. He bounces outside on good blocking. Puts his shoulder down and gets the first down against Marcus Washington. Wolverines on the Colorado side of the field. This drop changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Sets up pressure. It's incomplete. The hit is on number one, uh, Tyrone Butterfield. Okay, John, it's second down and 10 at the 49 for Michigan on the Colorado side of the field. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up, get to Williams. He runs into the traffic. Four down guys are Greg Jones. He's the rush man. He's a good one. Viliami Malmau is a 300-pounder. Ryan Olsen, 275 inside. Nick Ziegler is only a sophomore at the other defensive end position, but he's a good one. The linebackers, Phillips, Russell, Murkerson. It is Russell, the man that everybody talks about. I mean, he's a hammer. And the secondary, Ryan Black, is a blitzer. Number well, he six. was, and he was blitzing that last time, Keith. This defense blitzes a lot. Third down and eight. No score here in the first quarter. Bryce Buck, back to throw. Now a little pressure coming. Gets it away and throws it away incomplete. Coverage is there. So he throws it away. He jumped on top of him. That's what did it. Yeah, the, the end of it. That's 22 penalties they've had already this year in two games. Chris Howard is the tailback. First down for the Wolverines at the Buffalo 33. Setting up a screen here, and it is completed to Chris Howard, the tailback, a junior out of River Ridge, Louisiana. He's got the ball, and he's got the first down. He's going to get down to about the 21-yard line. Howard's in the backfield. Bigger back. We've got Woodson wide to the right. He's going both ways today. Dreisbach looking and throwing to the corner, incomplete. Pass intended for Ty Streets, Tyrone Butterfield. 
is also out there to wide out, and Clarence Williams, the running back, will run into the stack and is going to lose a yard. And third down and 12. Run it up the middle, give it a Chris Floyd, the up back, and Floyd is belted down at the 19-yard line. Remy Hamilton had two kicks blocked, remember, against Illinois, holding his Brian Greasy. The snapper is Mark Bolak. The kick is away. Looks good and is good. And so Michigan, helped by Colorado mistakes, cashes in a 37-yard field goal drive and takes the lead 3-0 with 10.33 to go in the first quarter. Stickers and Nunez are back there again. High-hanging kick well back into the end zone and we no return this time. We'll come to the 20 for the Buffaloes. They're led by William Carr at the down position, the nose tackle, and he's a very good one. But right behind him is one of the better linebackers in the country, Jeremy Irons. He had 15 tackles in the game against Illinois. Their secondary, Charles Woodson, was the freshman player of the year last year in the Big Ten. It's a relatively young group back there, but they're quite good. This is Troutman bouncing around and finally getting to the outside a little bit. It is second down and still about 10 for the Buffaloes and Detmer directing traffic since Troutman outside and a little quick pop intercepted and drop. Oh my goodness. Uh, that was two good offense, I mean two good plays. One by the defense and one by the offense. Third and 10. Detmer rolls it out, pressure coming, passes away, passes completed. On the dead run, he threw a bullet to Savoy. This is Trotman, caught from behind by Sword 93. Second down and six for Colorado. Detmer keeps it and throws down the middle for the tight end Lexus. He's got the ball, he's got the first down for Colorado at the Michigan 44. It's time, that's, that's important to do early in a ball game. Yep. Just get to the quarterback. Make him get up. Make him think about it. Yep. There's that little quick pop kid is hit almost instantly and taken down to the ground. The roof is slot. Whistle stops him. Dead ball. Dead ball. Delay of the Delay game. game. Still Delay second down. Game. But I, I got a feeling that, that Rick makes most of the calls. Back goes Detmer. Has time. Throws underneath. Tied in. And he's got Lepsis again. He's a big target. But Michigan is a bend-don't-break type of defense. Third and seven. The pressure coming. The ball is long. It's out of bounds and it's complete. Again. High spinner. It's a tail dragger, though. If it doesn't reach the end zone, they have to catch it, and they do. So Colorado didn't play in the first game of the season. He has the ball, slanting to the left, pops loose, gets up across the 10-yard line before Steve Rosga. He's got it all stuffed up underneath that, I think, today. It wasn't any. He shaved it. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it all off. This is Chris Howard. And Howard floats up across the 20 for the first down on the Wolverines now. Clarence Williams at the tailback now as Howard comes out for a breather. Williams taken down in a hurry. There was a... Say that as long as you're up here, but you get down next to the 300-pounder, you won't be saying that. No, he's, he's a horse. This is Howard. And the Buffalo stunting ate him up. Rise back. Gives the ball away to Williams, trying to get to the outside. Nothing doing. Cut it down by Marcus Washington, a cornerback. 47 yards. And gets this one out. High spinner. Good hanging on the kick. Bumbled. And covered by Ryan Nunez. Ooh. Double wide, top of the picture. Detmer gives it to Travis, coming back to this side. Got a terrific block and breaks clean. And is dragged down at the 45-yard line. Adrian Taylor, first down Buffalo. Detmer still got it. Pumps it out here to the left side. Pass good to Tennyson McCarty, the tight end. Who had flexed out to this side. And 3-0, Michigan leading. 2.50 to play first quarter. We're at Folsom Field in Boulder. Detmer back, looks, gives it to Troutman. He was looking for some place to go, and the Wolverines didn't give him any time. Orange is neat. Uh, Payne is, uh, well, I, know I guess he's not. 
Detmer gets it away, and it is incomplete. No, sir, it was on the ground. Blocked in the pass, too. Yeah, got this one hanging up there, but, uh, oh, it gets a great bounce. Oh, what a play. What a terrific play by Marcus Washington. He knew. All right, Michigan started back on the four the last time. Glassbach tries a little sneak, trying to get a little room, and out to the two, second down and nine with Chris Howard in the end zone. Go long right here. Go long right here. There it goes. It's high streets out there, and he can't reach it. Well, that's tight quarters down there. The pressure on him to kick it away, and it's a pretty good one. And it is Junior. Boy, that was some kind of block thrown upfield. Continuing this drive with great field position. Here's the Buffalo's big back, Lyndon Henry, 210 pounder from Fort Arthur with the ball. Wants it right up the middle and picks up close to five yards. Henry had a big ball game against Washington State. It was Troutman who had the big game against Colorado State last week. We played one, it's 3 nothing Michigan. Second down. And about six. And the Wolverine. Got a puck inside. Right, the blitz got picked off, but they... But it was a penalty. Third and six. Detmer underneath. Brockman gets his first down. Hard guy to get a hold of. He's 5'7", 190. Almost picked twice, actually. They hold on to it. On first down, Coy throws again, setting the screen. And it's Henry inside the 15 to the 13. Being attended to, double tight in alignment now for the Buffalo. Six different receivers have caught the ball. And Detmer hands to Henry. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage, bundles the ball. Michigan's got it. They stripped him and took it away from him. Chris Howard is in the backfield now at the deep back position for the Wolverines. He has the ball, trying to bounce around and find some daylight. He fumbled. Colorado looks like they've got it. They do. So Michigan gives it right back. Michigan still leading three to nothing. Buffaloes are knocking on the door. Ball is given to Henry. He cannot get around the corner. Ball start, that was pretty still obvious on the down. tight end. Here's He's still on the sideline. Yeah, Renus yeah. is a replacement, doing a pretty nice job right now. Second down, pitch it outside. There's some daylight there for Lyndon Henry, first and goal, Colorado with the Michigan eight-yard line. So it is third down. This is Henry, that's a first down, that's a touchdown, Colorado. Jason Leslie is in for the point. Good. 11-31 to go in the first half, and Colorado gets on the scoreboard to take the lead over Michigan by a score of 7-3. Winters and Tyrone Butterfield waiting for the kickoff. It's a low line drive streamer going back into the end zone. Butterfield commits on the return and gets it to the 25-yard line. One of five. The field position for Michigan has not been good. Very conservative play calling back in their own territory. Reisbach swings it out to Clarence Williams coming out of the backfield. He's over across the 30 to the 32-yard line. <laughs> Chris Howard, the deep man. Chris Floyd, number seven, is back there with him. Howard trying to get outside, trying to find the first down. Yep. Chris Floyd is the single back. Russell Shaw is one of the wideouts. He's yet to see the ball today. And this is thrown to Ty Streets, who's got some room. And Streets is up just short of the first down. He's mixing it up very nicely. Third down, a short yard. Reisbach hands the ball off to Howard, and he will have the first 
down. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> That's Butterfield in motion on the first down. Snap just over the 40 yard line. Howard gives that ball away. They drop it. And Colorado's got it, I think. They're fighting over it still. It is Colorado ball. Oh, Michigan ball. I'm sorry. It's second down and 13. Here they come. In a hurry. That's early. That's early. That's a pass interference call against Washington. That means your players need to get back and clear that area of white on the sideline. 41 yard line. Nobody behind drives. Box stands up quickly, throws to Woodson. He's the burner. But Colorado plays it very well. Second down, short five. Chris Howard gets some company now with Chris Floyd. And Howard has it, finds some daylight. And is close to a first down. Depends on the spot. Oh, big 12 bunch is a pretty good bunch of hitters. Uh huh. Clarence Williams got the ball and does not get to the line of scrimmage. I mean, the Buffaloes. Michigan's run 27 plays, and CU's had 23 so far. Drives Buck back, gets heat, steps away from it, lets it go big. High streets is out there. Two balls. Coverage on the play by number four, Torrey Elton Davis. Second down, and a third down, and the 12. Third and 12. Streets is knocked down over the middle. He was the man to drive Buck one. His penalty flag is thrown as drive Buck runs. I don't know. Maybe it's going against the Buffalo. Holding. It is. Holding against Colorado. No, it's not. It's not a first down. Right in the first place. All right. Third down and two. They find the fourth up the middle, and the offensive line surge is... Maybe, maybe well, we'll see here. I'll watch and see what they're going to do. 39-yard line. Deep man Williams takes one. That was pretty good tough run. I mean, that is a real tough run. First down, 11 yards. Jeremy Tuman, who had a big weekend catching the ball against Illinois, hasn't seen it so far today. Reisbach throws it wide open his high street. And inside the 20 to the 19. Michigan inside the 20. Hasn't been terribly efficient. Been in there very much. Look, <laughs> That'll be a first down. As Howard on first down, Howard the deep back. Now he comes up in the slot, and that leaves Floyd by himself as the protector for Dreisbach, and he throws it to him, and he's got some green in front of him. A lot of mountain air out there, and Chris Floyd Williams is in the backfield. The deep man. Second down, four. From the 12. Williams to the ball. Inside the 10, down to about the 7, where Ross got. Cobb getting into it. Williams the ball, outside. Clap over there, touchdown, Wolverine. Be very happy about that. Hamilton for the point good. 321 to play in the first half, and Michigan goes back to the lead by a score of 10 to 7. Just tough, hard nosed football. Stuffed inside, bounce outside. Come by to meet you. Barely. We went back and taken a couple other uh, angles of this. Take a look from the other side of the field. Hits the ball right there. It's from this angle, it looks like he was a little short of it. But this is cameras in the end zone. Here's the other side. That's Rosga. Rosga hitting, hitting him. Ball is out right there. That looks like the ball was out before he reached the goal line. <laughs> that carries four yards into the end zone to Ryan Nunez. And the freshman. William Carr is back in for Michigan, number 96 in the middle, and Denver puts it out for Carruth. He's downfield. He's got it. What a great catch. He beat Woody Hankins. Single coverage. Carruth with tremendous speed is going to catch this ball twice. 
Once? Yep. Twice. Twice. <laughs> 52 yards and a great play. Lyndon Henry is in the backfield. Carr almost popped in. Henry looking for a crack. Wolverines jump in right about the line of scrimmage. He'll have it by the second quarter, even before. Each team with a timeout remaining. Second down, Detmer looks around, throws underneath to Henry, spins from one, pins the flag down, gained about a yard on the play. And all that kind of stuff. Everybody trying to tell him, tell Rick how to run his program. Ball is given to Trotman, replacing Henry, and they stack him up pretty well. Uh, with here, one of the top offenses in the country. Third down and 15. Blitz! Down the middle, get him in. Carruth, it's a first and goal for Colorado. It is present felt. And it's a 13 to 10 ball game. That's a big point. Halftime. That's a big block. Big block. Instead of four points, it's three. He jumps right through the center guard gap. Bowen's number six. Instead of a four-point difference, it's only three. I don't care if it's what if your best defensive back is out there or not. Woodson, number two, and Savoy. They just get out there, little hand fighting. And Savoy, who is 6'3 and 195 pounds. Makes the play. That ball is kicked way down the road. He's looking forward to next week. Floyd is a single back. Reisbach gives him the ball. And Christoph a pretty good time with it. Gets it out to the... Keeps everybody loose. Four-year starter here for the Buffaloes. 15 seconds remaining, and they'll go to the clubhouse. Second half is underway as Jason Leslie knocks it beyond the field of play, and Michigan takes it at the 20. Todd Brooks out there, and uh, I won't Butterfield in motion, and it's Williams and being taken down a little short of the line of scrimmage by Colorado. Second and ten. Bryce Buck has some time, goes short with it, picked off by, off the turf, literally, by Clarence Williams to make the play work some. Chris Howard. Wolf close, but he's going to have the first down. He's across the 30. You know, usually they're just taking up space. First down for the Wolverine at the 30. Bryce Bach underneath again to Shaw. Russell Shaw. And it's 16 plays and one score. Nickel and Diamond him right now. Second down and two. <laughs> Buffaloes took care of that one in a hurry, didn't they? Matt Russell, third down and four. Here they come. Rolls out to buy some time. And the ball is not good. Both previous punts have been 45 yards. That snap almost got away. And it's almost blocked, but he's got a good kick out of it. Bear catch is called back at the 21-yard line. All right, Colorado to the attack now from the 21-yard line. So far, Coy Detmer has behaved himself. He's not been out there running bootlegs and doing those kind of things. That ball's thrown behind Bill Savoy, the intended receiver. Yeah, that's Woody Hankins. Yeah, that's opposite. Um, what's this is taken down on an open field tackle nicely by number 93. All right, it's third down and 11. And Coy Detmer gets the ball. The pass is incomplete, and there's a penalty call against Woody Hankins. On the defense, follow the foul, automatic first down. Always into the boundary. Detmer back, trying to set a screen over here. They get something that is working, but then it collapses, and they take him down at about the 30-yard uh, line at the call. The illegal use of hands. That'll back him up. First and 21. Detmer looks, looks again, throws underneath. Pass intended for McCarty, the tight end, and he's hurt himself. All right, Tennyson out. He's the man who made that big catch against a and a year ago here. Boy, Detmer's looking, getting some pressure. Passes away, and it is an incomplete forward pass. He's taken down, but not. It is third and 21. He's going to air it out for James Kidd. And 
it is incomplete. By the time the ball and kids got to their... Didn't get it to turn over. And it goes out of bounds around midfield. Got a big day against Illinois. There's the first time. It's Mark Campbell. It's not Tubman. It's single coverage down here. Breach coming to the lower side. Pressure coming. a great play by Price Street to tip the ball and then make the catch and get a first down at the 31-yard line. With Howard, that's the first first down using the forward pass for Michigan. Price box pass, thrown down the middle, and he missed the man. He had Russell Shaw down there. And Chris Howard. Two. Third down and five. Lloyd, the single back. Creeps to the left. With Shaw. Here they come. It's away. The pass to Streets is good for the first down. So Dreisbach, let's put it on the 17. That's really where it is. They call it the next uh, hash mark, the 16. Dreisbach is just swarmed up there. Russell is there. And it's second down and 16. Penalty flag as Chris Howard gets outside. Knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line. It's got to be against the offense. Illegal motion for Michigan. Five-yard penalty, previous spot, repeat second down. Second down and 21. Back at the 28. Pass deep for Streets. He delayed. He got the duck walking and started looking for the ball at number 28. Crowd trying to help the defense. Defense did a pretty good job as they stifle Chris Howard. If he's good from here, it will tie it. They're going to put it down at the 32, so it's a 42-yard try. He's hooked it a bit, but he's got it. And at 6-2 to play in the third quarter, we're all even at 13 apiece. High kick going well into the end zone. And uh, they're not going to bring it up. He'll come to the 20. Coy Detford gives it to Troutman. Sam Sword. Reach him right about the line of scrimmage against the Buffaloes. Holding on the offense, 10 yard penalty, half the distance to go. First down and 20 from the 10. And Tennyson McCarty is back on the field after the sprained ankle. And Raquel Trotman just barely gets to the line of scrimmage. The boy to Ruth and Kidd. Detmer with time. Goes to the sidelines and it is incomplete intended for Savoy. Can move around a little bit, taken down on pursuit from the backside. David Bowen against the back of his end zone. There's no pressure. It's a low kick and takes a Michigan bounce. He's coming back up the field. Oh, look at it! All the way back to the 32 of Colorado at the Colorado 32 yard line. Clarence Williams with the ball in traffic to the 29. Second down and seven. Right front, gets time, throws underneath, pass complete to Russell Shaw. It is third and six for Michigan. They need some yardage if they want to get a field goal. They throw the ball to Street. Oh, did he catch it? Unbelievable. An incredible play by Ty Streets. And it's a first down. Go on first down, just inside the 15. This is Williams. Williams is all the way to the six before they can bring him down. First and goal at the Colorado five. I'm sorry, second and goal at the Colorado five. And I think the uh, the Michigan uh, now it is first and goal at the three. 
Chris Floyd. The big fellow who's been doing all the dirty work back there. And well, I think it's very tender. He'd be a big weapon if he can't get back in, Keith. All right, second down and goal. Dry spot rolls it out. He can walk in himself and send his throws. And it's touchdown to Jeremy Truman. And you got a Michigan player hurt. That is Rod Payne, the center, down on the field. Kick is good. Michigan leads 20 to 13. So the Wolverines took the lead early on, three to nothing. Colorado took the lead. Michigan came back the lead. Lyndon Henry and Nunez are back. And Feely hammers it. Both the uh, kickoff people have been knocking the ball deep. This may be. And as long as you get to the 20, you're safe. And he gets it well past the 20. He runs it all the way out to the, close to the 40-yard line for an offense coming out to start a drive. Detmer an option play. Gives it to Henry. Wolverine beat him up. One by penalty, yeah. They're coming. And sure enough. Mid ball. Ball start on the offense. Repeat second down. Thomas, Melvin Thomas. That's the ninth penalty. Underneath it goes. It's the roof. And he's got a first down. He's just right at midfield at the end of the third quarter. So the Buffaloes trying to crank it up after three with Michigan leading 20 to 13. We'll be back after this message and a word from our ABC station. Lyndon Henry is the single back, and those speed burners are the white people. And back goes Denver. And he throws it underneath. And it's incomplete. Rick Neuheisel's uh, Buffaloes. Darren Shiverini is in there at one of the wideouts now as Detmer throws underneath to the uh, tight end. And it's Matt Lepsis. They go double to the top of your picture. And boy, Detmer, the time, go underneath to Crockman and we lose one. That one little side slip step there. Fourth and one could be big. Detmer to Henry. David Bowen led the defensive surge. They lead 20 to 13. Clarence Williams is the deep back, and the crowd's trying to help the defense. Williams with the ball, bouncing around, finds a bit of daylight, picks up about four yards, and he's the club's leading guy. Oh, he certainly is. He's a tough kid. He's got a lot of grit. This is Clarence Williams carrying for a yard. It's third down and four. Chris Howard, the deep back. Dry spot, pressure, passes away, down to Woodson, and he got it on the chest and couldn't hold it. It was deflected. We're out a little bit more and more to uh, the Michigan side, the outside. I think it Whoa. could have been complete, but uh, that, was, almost that was pretty close. It means you got to get it real high and you got to cover quick. It's high, it's a knuckleball, and a fair catch is called. Colorado in the second half uh, has had the ball three times and done nothing with it. Detmer drills it to Carruth, and Carruth is taken down at about the 16-yard line. Wide down here at the bottom of the picture. And... Ball start on the offense. Five-yard penalty, still second down. Second down now and 13. Detmer throws it to it very hard, and... But this is a... Lexus is back in. They retaped him. And uh, some pressure now as they flush him. Now he throws it, and it is good to Kidd. And Kidd's going to have a Colorado first down. So that's the mobility of Floyd Detmer. At the 37-yard line, Detmer stays with the passing game. The pass thrown to the sideline to court the press box side of the field. And the roots. Watch out here. This looks like blitz. Second and six. He got it away, and he hit his man. Boy, you give him that much time, so get it. Pass completed to Nunez. At 10-13 to play in the ball game, trailing by seven. 20 to 13. Blitz. Here's the blitz coming. Passes away, and this one doesn't work. It's thrown over the head. <laughs> Moving to the defensive line. <laughs> And right now, ball start 
on the offense. Still second down. And on second and 15, Owens flushes him out. <laughs> and he's not coming. <laughs> Colorado's third down conversions. Five to ten so far today. They're at third and two right now. The penalty flag and Detmer rolls out and picks up the first half. Oh, they knocked the ball loose from him. I mean, they really belted him. And Copenhagen really popped him. But... Oh, geez. that's called a lick. <laughs> oh, I mean, in, in, in the close games like this one is, sooner or later it's going to get you. 20 to 13, 9 25 to play in the ball game. Detmer back on third down and seven. Let's it go big down the sideline. He's got it. James Kidd, touchdown. There's a penalty flag on the field. Hold the phone. It's against Colorado. I love the call. I didn't like the execution. And it's third and 12, and the Wolverines dodge a bullet. Here comes Bowens, and Denver gets it away. Pass is caught again by Kidd, and it's a first down. This kid just doesn't give up. It's a run play. You have one stance, and a pass, you have another. Denver throws it complete to the roof. Irons comes over here now. He's playing what amounts to a defensive end position. Now he drops. Detmer throws it. Just about where Irons would have been. The pass is completed to Ray Carruth. Drop him the setback. This is Detmer's show right now. And they're giving him great protection. Over to the tight end, Brody Hefner. And Hefner is belted out of bounds. It's the 12th play of this drive. Ball start on the yep. offense. That's 14 penalties, isn't it? The ball comes off that penalty back to second down and six. At the 13-yard line, and has the ball. He has a little room. Then he is just leveled by Marcus Ray. Trotman again. And they've got him short of the line of scrimmage, and William Carr has... All right, this rain is falling. It is fourth down. And about two yards to go, Lyndon Henry is the deep man. The ball is on the nine. Detmer turns around and throws. It's right on the ground. It is incomplete. The umpire said the ball is on the ground. Now you want to get the linebackers blitz, and you want to pull them in so you can get this slant. That ball is on the ground. Ball is on the ground. All right, Michigan holds and takes over at their own 10 with 6.27 to play. And Clarence Williams carries. Second down and 10 for Michigan. It's Williams. And he's got about four. You lead by seven. Clock shows 5.20. It's a hostile crowd. Chris Floyd. Here comes Dreisbach rolling out to buy time. Throws it is incomplete and almost intercepted by Marcus Washington. Is good. Kick is pretty good into the rain. Great kick. Runs all the way back to the 31 yard line. Nunes. Back to the 41 42. Michigan 20, Colorado 13. No back behind Detmer. No pressure either. And the pass is incomplete. He's dangerous. They've been throwing away from him most of the day. 4.56 to play in the game. Denver now gets some pressure, gets his pass away, and it's incomplete. Mason Cruz tried to run it down. Third and ten. Quick pop to the tight end. And he's taken down. That is Hefner. Make sure that he punts it. He punted it all right. It's a howitzer. And he popped it into the end zone. Williams bounces outside, and Washington makes the tackle. Michigan that likes to run inside, this is my kind of game. 
Second down and six. Here they come, Matt. That time Williams kind of squirts through there and gets a first down. Now, Stan Parrish said yesterday, and a couple of the other coaches agreed, that they thought Carr had done a pretty good job preparing his team emotionally for this game. This is Howard. And Chris Howard pounding in traffic for about three yards. And the clock is running. Second down and six. They need a couple more first downs, Keith. Clarence Williams has been doing a lot of the heavy work here in the late going. It's Williams. That looks like a first down. I think he twisted and turned. <laughs> number 11 is trying to beat number five here in Boulder, Colorado this afternoon. The Michigan Wolverines. And it's Clarence Williams. You see the time ticking away there on the right. Well under a minute now. Puts his knee down. No point in taking any punishment. Changed his defensive structure a little bit. He's running around. The clock's running. Now he goes down and 35 seconds. So that they're not going to punt it. He fumbled it. He doesn't, fumbled it. Doesn't make any difference. You got to give it up anyway. So you got one play. Remember the last. Remember two years ago, Keith. Oh, I certainly do. I wish I was getting residuals on that play. <laughs> uh, it, <laughs> and pressure on the quarterback. Michigan is just giving up. The play is going to be made in the end zone. Detmer puts it in the air. off down there I want to tell you something the Ruth had a shot at it and may have even gotten his hands on it but he didn't and Michigan has won the game 20 to 13 unbelievable that they would come down to this they had a shot at it yeah watch at the, the receiver in the there. back yes just not quite 